the M5 side, and they're they're just in so much of a better position, uh, both in the mid lane matchup. Uh, this is a mid lane matchup that G that uh, Vigas should win here against G, and just in terms of overall early game aggression, they're smoked up. They might get a kill here on Yol to start the game. Oh, Yol walks to the high ground. He's like, no, God, this is not where I wanted to be. Somebody help. So. He will go down to the first foot. It looks like the right click. Buddha Restoration not going to save him. I mean, TPOH or Tron gets the kill. Probably not the hero you want to get first blood to. And they situation. forced the and they forced the skilling of Voodoo Restoration at level one. I'm actually a little bit surprised that Yol did that. It's yeah. it's probably not the biggest deal here, but you know when you got beat as bad as M5 did in the last match, you are looking for any kind of advantage in the early game. And and just knowing that Yol spent that level one skill point on the Voodoo Restoration lets TPOH just be a little bit more aggressive here in this top lane to start the match. Yeah, Yol wanted to get out. He wanted to ward early, but he made the mistake of going to the high ground and this is an off ganking spot coming out from the Radiant team and Yol gets caught out and goes down gives away first blood and like you mentioned the more important thing Buddha Restoration skilled up you don't have casket level one um, we'll see how it goes they do miss the uh, observer ward it's on the cliff here rather than on the the ancient uh, camp here for the Radiant side so some introductions while we have the moment for Moscow 5 Trotata or Vigas will be playing your brewmaster up at the top lane this is going to be TPOH or Tron he'll be on the bat rider down bottom Defensive tri lane. King R on the Scarf Mage yet again. Blow your brand on the Naga sign with an interesting set. And to round it all out, we'll have PGG playing your vengeful spirit. So that'll be Moscow 5. Oh. Boy, G G's got to be careful here. Yeah. He's getting he he's going to get zoned out and and hopefully zoned out because if he plays too aggressively, he can get punished heavily. Backing up right now. He's he ate a tree, obviously. But yeah, I mean, this is a really good matchup. Melee versus melee on a Brewmaster is something that really favors the Brew. And although G has got Searing Chains, he's got obviously his Flame Guard, and he could be kind of aggressive with yeah. the Flame Guard a bit later. John, I'm going to try for the arrow. Really. Ooh, just oh. moves his on V, guys. He backs away. There's the Flame Guard. Searing Chains actually missed on V, guys. That would have been the kill out of the Searing Chains hit, I believe. But Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I don't know that they would have gotten the kill there, but. Uh, it would have been close, and, and that would have been uh, just a huge, huge turn of events for G in a lane that he really shouldn't win. Uh, but as it, as it is, he's actually, he's actually off to a CS lead. Yeah. Oh, wow, Cedor here in a little bit of trouble down bottom. Right. Getting chased down. He will go down to the kill of Moscow 5 using the uh, Arcane Bolt. Looks like they used the Magic Missile as well. So, again, we talk about how this is what's good in the offlane, but he's certainly not unkillable, especially when you get Ancient Seal for... Yes. Uh, this yeah. guy, he's gonna get arrowed by the way by Jotun. Does he have enough right click damage? King R can actually man up with concussive shot with Arcane Bolt, but he looks like he's just trying to get out Magic Missile maybe on the high ground here. Jotun about to try to get this kill and King R will get away just barely. Magic Missile from PGG, so he cannot get up to the high ground. That was so close and King R yeah, lives G might be in a little bit of HP. trouble here mid lane. Uh, fortunately, Vigas is out of mana and he's got Yol coming and ha having his back, but you know, again, it, even though you know, G, oh boy king r i think just did that king r just gives himself as give himself away yeah, yeah it's a free ride back to base which is fine uh but g is is doing well for himself early on but i i think he is eventually either going to need some help or going to have to start playing a lot more carefully he he needs a bottle right now and, yes. and he actually has enough money for it. he will buy it and that, that's going to be huge timing for him and he is still leading the way in terms of cs in this mid lane which is very interesting yeah and but, it, uh, it, it's telling to me that, that G started with a poor man's shield and, and two pulled tangos, and he's going to have his bottle here within about 20 seconds of Vigos. Yeah. Uh, that, that early CS parity is, is, is really huge for the Ember. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, where did boy. that happen? That's, how did that die? What? How did it die here? Who was there? That's just, that's just carelessness. It had to be, I guess it had to be BZZ here. Well, I don't know what happened, but that, that's a really smart play coming out either, either way. I mean, that's they get bizarre. the carrier. It actually had the bottle on it, and uh, it was roaming Oh, back God, that's, that was that was Vigas's bottle? Yes. Oh, no. She was actually crowing it back to base, and it just died. <laughs> Meanwhile, Siri Chain's arrow is going to connect on dead. Vigas. Big fight coming out, but they don't have the damage. G already used his flame oh, guard. He already used his Searing Chain's, and they cannot get the kill. But and the arrow does come through. And John, I'm only level one. That was I thought he had. I thought he'd have his two levels in uh, in Starstorm, which might have been enough to get the kill. But uh, uh, Vigos a little bit fortunate in that regard. But he is really hosed as far as this lane goes.
Meanwhile, Cedo HSC after PJG. They do take down the bounce bounce here for M5, but they're not going to go any further. They see there are reinforcements coming from King R. They already used the time walk. They can't slow him down any further. So a nice try. And Virtus Pro, they're putting a decent amount of pressure on, but they're just not able to secure these kills that they got in the last game. And a lot of that has to do with, the, I think, the Shadow Demon being very effective in that regard with Soul Catcher. They just don't have the extra bit of damage coming out. Yeah, I, I think that's an excellent call, and I think that's exactly right. You know, the, the Witch Doctor is, as much as he potentially offers here coming into the mid game, just you know, nowhere near the kind of damage potential. And they're not even trying to run with the Murana, which, by the way, I agree with. And M5 doing something I really like here, going to put some early pressure on the bottom tower. Yeah, and they might be able to take it as well. Cedoy, magic missile, gets disjointed though. Cedoy with an excellent time walk. Oh. Arrow connects on PGG. Now the cast, Gil TP's in. PGG about to fall in. Well, they also get the kill in the mid lane from G. Solo kill using his flame yeah. guard and maybe even his searing chains as well. And that's just all about, and he has a regen rune, so anytime he wants it, he's just right back into the fight. I mean, that's just all about that bottle kill. Right? No denying the tower. Arrow connects on Bull Brain after the time lock proc. They have no star storm. They have leap. Sedoy has to back away. Ancient seal coming through. They cannot time walk for the kill. Here comes Yo, the remnants from G. He wants this kill and blow your brain. He's gonna try to buy. He has a TP scroll. They cannot find him. He will TP oh, out. Oh, Unbelievable. Blow your brain, making it away. Huge play. King R getting chased down. Concussive shot. Salam is canceled. He will fall as well. King R gets brought down, and at least they get the tier one tower, and they keep blow your brain alive. But they lose a couple of heroes in the process. Yeah, that sequence went so much better for them than it could have. Just an epic juke there by Blow Your Brain to get away. Uh, that would have been a disastrous fight for them if their Naga had gone down sitting on 1,300 gold. Yeah. I mean, now he's sitting pretty well. He's got Nikhil, he's got Quilling Blade, he's got his bottle. He's got everything he needs, uh, with the exception of, obviously, the ratings. But that'll be some time from now. Split mid lane. He got spends his ulti. Uh, he's getting fought here, and he will take a boulder toss. And he's going to try to remnant away, and actually might make it. He's trying to juke away. He can always remnant. He actually doesn't have the mana for it. And Gru will grab the kill coming in with the boulder toss. Ancient Seal and Cyclone, and that'll be up on the Marana. Meanwhile, they're chasing after Yol. Voodoo Restoration, here comes Tron. A kill for him would be huge. Firefly still going Yol, trying to stay alive. No mana to heal up anymore with. Viper Strike coming in from BZZ. Try to tie. Arrow doesn't connect. Oh, oh no. Vigas would have been dead had that arrow hit. Meanwhile, Cedoy coming back in. No use to the Chronosphere. Gets Magic Missile as well. He's looking for a fight. Time Lock might be available, and it is. PGG at least is going to get brought down, but that's a very good trade for Moscow 5 in the end, I believe. Yeah, it is, but boy, again, you can see... Oh, Lord, they're going to well, get another one here. And it's not a good trade for Moscow 5 yeah. in that situation. And, and this is part of the problem. When, when you hear criticism of, of CIS teams, this is what people will talk about, that, that they sometimes just don't know when to quit, that they'll get a big, big kill. I mean, that, that, that solo kill on G uh, by the Brewmaster was just, in terms of getting him back into this game, you could not ask for a bigger kill anywhere on the map right now. But then they choose to press the advantage and give away the two supports in the process. And that, that really, those kinds of return kills, and they were fortunate not to give up Vigas as well. The arrow from Jotam was just barely off target. You know, it's it's one step forward sometimes and two steps back. Yeah, I mean, just too aggressive coming out, I think, from Moscow 5. Virtus Pro, they get the return kills. And, and Virtus Pro Pro, they don't have, I think, as an aggressive nature, nature, or at least they, they know when yeah. to stop. They know when to quit. They know they've gotten enough kills, and they always take the advantage. And, and little by little, they'll kind of just increment their lead. So, British Pro are looking really solid right now. And this is a team that went to, what's that, I League, I believe, where they faced up against Tonfu yes. OB. And uh, they had a pretty good series against them. Obviously, they didn't take it, but that was a strong series coming up from the race pros. So. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying earlier about VP's been a team that it doesn't necessarily show in their stats. But if you look at the competition that they've played against and you look at the kind of matches that they've put up, they've shown that they can compete against the best right now. Yeah, top lane. Song of the Sour nice going. Song. BZZ getting caught out. Do they have enough damage to get the skill? Absolutely. Ancient Seal, Magic Missile, Firefly. You name it, they use it, and BZZ is going to fall. And that's going to be him down for 30 seconds. Great gank coming in. Song yeah. already being used effectively. And this is what I like to see out of Naga Sirens.
Yeah, that sets back his mech now by a couple minutes as well. He was on yeah. pace for a, a possibly even a pre-10 minute mech. So uh, that's a nice big impact kill for them. And and again, even though they trail in the kill totals and they're a bit behind in the gold, uh, just the early game, such a different story here for M5. They are in position to make some moves in the mid game in this match. Absolutely. And with an Agasar, they certainly have a really lethal light game as well. Employer your brain getting TP'd on right now. Cast has already used theirs. The Viper Strike, he has no song. And she still goes through, but only on Yul. Maybe not the best target. Concussive shot actually hit on BZZ as well. And they cannot get the kill on Blow Your Brain. He's getting away. And it looks like there's no rotations to the backside to get this kill as well. Faces Void nowhere near. Revenant coming in. That'll be from G in the mid lane, I believe. No, that's G in the top lane. Actually looking for King R and not finding him. So TP rotations, they don't get anything. Actually, yeah, arrow connects yeah. on King R. He got blindsided. Oh, I was going to say, they were going to give away one of those heroes. But again, it, it, very important that it not be Blow Your Brain's Naga Siren. And, uh, that was, again, a little bit fortunate for M5. Uh, pretty ill-advised to go up and, and threaten that top tier one tower uh, with only two heroes at this point. I gotta say, they're they're playing, and I said I was really a big fan of getting the Naga involved and having a kill with the Song of the Siren, but there's a completely different story. Well, we can hold on. PGG's gonna die to uh, two ultimates here. So Doys yeah. and uh, Yules finally coming in conjunction with one another. But, you know, Blow Your Brain is pulling a Naga Siren where he's not farming AFK in the jungle. He's, he's getting involved in not only fights, but in taking towers early as well. And I think maybe you should just... Just wait until you get your relic. Wait until you get your radiance, and then you can start being aggressive. Let's 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 farm the jungle a bit more. Let's make sure he gets enough gold. Uh, meanwhile, he's tipping top. Lato, BZZ in trouble. Yet again, ancient seal. He should fall here, and I mean, at least they're gonna get blow your brain involved to the kill. So, okay. Uh, oh, th look, this is really important because, uh, you know, you look at the kill margin, and VP is doubling up M5 in kills, but they've gotten the bigger kills. Right, I mean, four of a VP's kills are on King R, which I mean, it's nice, but but M5 now have two kills on BZZ. They've got a kill on G and a kill on Cedoy. That's four core kills out of their five. Mm -hmm. So they're doing what they need to do to give themselves a shot here. Yeah, absolutely. And the one thing I'm worried about is if G goes to late game, gets a battle fury here against the Snog. And I mean, I'm thinking really late game because at this point, it looks like we're gonna get there. Mm, but uh, I think we got a couple more minutes before true. I'd say that. True. Well, nice miss. So Yul's gonna get caught out. Looks like he will fall to Trot Tide Tide. Doesn't have to use his ultimate. Swap coming through from PGG. Sedoy, you are not getting out, my friend. Ancient Seal. They already used Magic Missile. Moonlight Shadow gonna go, but no detection. Oh, man. And now G comes in. Yeah. Sir Chains PGG's like, where'd he come from? And he's done. Well, that's and, and unfortunate. Just a little silly to keep up the chase there without the ma uh, without the uh, mana for the magic oh, missile, and they no can chrono. turn this. No chrono. So, and also the blink dagger coming out from Vigas. Vigas having a heck of a game, at least a better one than we saw in game number one. So. Oh, big time. I mean, that, that's, to me, again, you know, you look at the kill numbers and you look at the fact that the VP does now have a 2K gold lead, and, you know, that's all well and good, but nice. the cores of M5 in position. Uh, Vigas might go down here, but he's super tanky. Yeah, they're not killing oh, him right now. They're going to get the cask off, and there will be an arrow coming through with the Shocker Ultimate. They do blow him up. The arrow actually keeps him in place long enough for them to get that kill. Yeah, he's very tanky against the right click, but against uh, the death ward, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, that uh, death ward damage is, is a it's a very unusual type of um, of physical damage. It's it's called like chaos damage or something. It can't be blocked, for example, and so it's a little bit more effective against uh, some sources of damage mitigation. Yeah, and well, that showed itself in the last little fight there. And the arrow coming through from Jadama as well. Nice play. He actually picks the medallion. Great choice here. Your dire side. You want to take Roche early on. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Get the medallion. Get in the Roche pit. No, that it. item had almost a 65% win rate on the dire side in 6.81. It's it's one of the big value pickups if you're a support on the dire side. Certainly think about that early in your item progression. Yeah. I mean, playing a game, you want a good dire advantage or support, pick up a medallion. A lot of them do pick them up. I mean, you don't have to necessarily pick up that item, but... For supports like Mirana, Vengeful Spirit, it's certainly a good choice. You've been able to as well. And there's, there's a lot more that you can build it on, too. I've seen it on Witch Doctors and what have you. Uh, so. Shadow Demon, absolutely. No, that, that's a, it is a much better item, especially on the Dire, than a lot of people give it credit for. And, and look at that, by the way. Look at that, the mech timing of BZZ. 13 minutes when it yeah, looked like late. it was going to be more like 9 or 10. Uh, these kills starting to add up. Uh, although, you know, you, you wonder, is Blow's Naga farming quite enough? 
I mean, she's she's bought 500 now away from that relic, so she's yeah. looking pretty good in her progression. But it's going to be important for them to get her through the next few minutes to a radiance without any major losses. If it continues the way it is right now, it's looking to be a 16 minute radiance thereabouts from Blow Your Brain. And that's perfect timing, I'd say, oh, considering yeah. he got all of his items first. Watch not even arrow. he's not going Oof. for his greedy build. He's just picking up the standard items. And there is the deep double damage room for Brewmaster. There's a blink lasso. Jotam getting caught out. I heard a swap in the backside as well. Jotam falls. They're chasing after BZZ with the Ancient Seal. Right click, mech keeping him alive. And he does have the bottle. No, he doesn't have enough regen. There's going to be the split. PGG is getting Viper struck, but he should survive BZZ. One right click won't do the job yet. They will stay alive. They get two for one trade. Meanwhile, Blow Your Brain gets ganked in the bottom lane by Sedoi. So... Yeah, one the obviously the one v one kill for Sedoi, who now has his mask of bandits and his treads up, is a big deal. But uh, you know, nice mid engagement coming out there. It, it just it, it's so unfortunate that they had to give away the Naga in the meantime. Who again, you know, we talk about these kill these timing kills, right? Bzz with his mech, and now it, that sets Blow Your Brain's radiance back by another couple of minutes. Yeah, I mean, he was at what thirty four hundred, maybe thirty five hundred, yep. with that, yeah. and then he dies and he gives away all that gold. So. Yeah, he's giving away, giving away, uh, thir it's 30 times your level, so that's almost 300 gold that he gave away with that death. Yeah. Unfortunate for Blow Your Brain, but he's still on par for a decent timing radiance. However, there is some aggression coming up from British Pro now, and, and yeah. they, if they want to be aggressive, this is the time to do so. There is no split up. Uh, they just died to a big fight coming out from M5, so they're kind of resetting now, and it looks like they will get the tier 1 tower. The glyph was used, but G does take it down. And he already has his claymore, so he's getting closer and closer to doing yeah. his battle fury. He can pick up the broadsword now if he wants to. Yeah, I was just about to flag that as well because, oh no, this would be, thank goodness for invis runes. Seriously. No gem, no detection, and there's no real reason for them to place down a sentry or I don't think they even have any detection. Uh, okay. Lasso, Yol gets caught out, so they actually turn it around using that vision from Blow Your Brain and Snare. Yol's gonna fall as well. Yeah, they to need to hard. watch this. They need to be very careful here. Arrow not connecting. Meanwhile, Viper Strike going in. PGG trying to fight. Clap goes through, Mystic Flare all over the place. PGG low will fall to Jotam in the right click coming down. BZZ getting chased down as well. Flame Break gonna push him back, but there's the Siri Chains on to three. But Song of the Siren coming in from Blow Your Brain. They still lose Tron in the backside. The two for two trade comes out. Blow Your Brain now backs away. Uh, Vigas is gonna get out as well. He has his Blink Dagger, not the one to chase. Instead, G's gonna look for King R, but he has no mana for Remnant. Meanwhile, Chronosphere going in. They will find Blow Your Brain. Can Sedoi get the skill? Arrow comes Arrow. through. It does connect. Beautifully done. Blow Your Brain. Get a fall yet again. And this is the problem. Getting involved in these fights, Blow Your Brain. You're not finishing your Radiance anytime soon, it looks like. Yeah, and this is what good teams do. Just so aware of those item timings and, and when those kills are of maximum value. This is exactly what VP are doing right now. They understand that the value of killing Naga Siren at this point in the game, it's like getting at least two other other hero kills uh, and and Jotam really found his redemption there because he had an arrow at the beginning of that last fight that hit one of blow your brains illusions and it was it was a very close thing and they would have won that fight in a stomp if it had hit his hero but eventually does come back and hey chronosphere set up no shame in that my friend yeah easy chronosphere into the arrow combo Jotam just Let's it loose and boom, they get the kill. So, Virtus Pro, they have the kill lead and arguably they have the net worth lead as well. Well, not arguably, it shows 5,000 lead coming up from Virtus Pro here. Experience wise, 3,000 as well. And yeah. they have a solid advantage in this game, I think. Yeah, I, I worry a little bit because in addition to the overall gold lead, you take a you take a look at G topping the net worth board by over 2K uh, ahead of Blow Your Brain's Naga Siren and already the highest level in the game now, two levels ahead of uh, anybody else on the map. Uh, this is danger time for M5. Lasso on Jotam, they're bringing him back. Split gonna go as well. Mystic Flare, Jotam is about to fall with Flame Break and Will. Meanwhile, they're chasing down BDZ. He's got mech, he can't even use it. He will at the end, but uh, that's still gonna make him fall. Two dead there. Excellent fight from Moscow 5. Yeah, they and they don't have G there. They don't have Sidoi. And I think that's... that's Virtus Pro lose two heroes that they probably shouldn't lose in that situation. They're just a bit too aggressive, but... Yeah, but I, look at what's coming out now for G. There it is. 
Yeah, at 18 minutes, and, and just, you know, it looked like a few minutes ago, it looked like at this point in the match that Blow was going to have his radiance and that G probably wasn't going to be to his Battle Fury. And it's just a mark of, of how much fortunes have turned here in the last three or four minutes of this game. Uh, a, a drum Battle Fury timing like that on an Ember Spirit that's also got this kind of level advantage, uh, this is something that they now have to deal with. He's got five kills to his name. I mean, this guy's been pretty much all over the place for Virtus Pro. G might be one of the most underrated mid players in the world, and honestly, one of my favorite to watch. He's so good at every aspect of the game. Yep. Team fighting, farming, getting levels, making sure he gets an advantage, and keeping that advantage. He's one of the best knockout players in the world as well, arguably, when he plays it. Uh, I've seen him go to town on that hero. And, wow. and honestly, he's just a great farmer, and, and Virtus Pro have a great player in their mid laner. Meanwhile, they're going to find out PGG. Death Ward comes out. Magic Missile stops it for a moment, but they will grab the kill. So. Uh, and you, you hear it's a sort of a football expression that you hear quarterbacks, you know, he should take his offensive lineman out to dinner. You know, I think yes, it should be a, a, a Dota saying your mid players should be taking your sports out to dinner. Absolutely, because, that's true. They make it so easy. Yeah, it's such, such an importance uh, of that setup in this kind of a match. Listen, man, I'm all about the football references. I don't know how many people <laughs> will get that, you know, but uh, us American fans, absolutely. And, hey, you gotta, uh, you gotta rep NA Dota, man. Absolutely. I mean, well, Boy, they're this, taking Roche now. And... Yeah, Aegis on G at this point, I mean, it's worth the risk for sure. And it's gonna be very awkward for M5 to contest. Now, that said, <laughs> beautiful. Do. Yeah, Tron is up on the high ground, however. They do use the Moonlight Shadow there. Mystic Flare now wants to do it. Might get caught out. Looks like he will fall. He does Chrono up onto two. Yeah. Magic Missile and Swap are available. There it goes. King are getting caught out now. There's the song. They want to reset the fight, but now they will not have Lasso. They will not have Split. So Doi, time walks down to the low ground. They cannot oh, no. chase it down. Oh, no. Arrow just missing on Blow Your Brain. And looks like he will be able to get out. No, the Searing Chance coming through. Cast not available, but the right click coming out from BZC is. And then the Remnant coming through to blow him up. He does finish his ratings as he dies. Still. But they're going to give Roche up and a mega kill streak for G as well. Yeah, I, that's. They're very. Again, boy, M5 hanging in this match by the skin of their teeth. But uh, in my view, they've been fortunate that some of these fights haven't gone worse for them. Uh, it Very, very lucky that they're able to finish the Radiance there. With, with just literally a handful of gold to spare in Naga's pockets afterward. Uh, I, I did not think that they were going to contest that. Oh, God. Well, oh, God. Yeah, PGG was way out of position there, and I was just watching him die. Yeah, <laughs> it was a bit can't... unfortunate. <laughs> You, you can't give that to an Ember Spirit. Not really, not now, certainly, but really not ever. Yeah, I mean, the kills that he's getting are, are keeping him not only in this game, but... I mean, he's got a lot of CS, but that's not really where his farm is coming from. I mean, seven kills, that's what he's getting farmed from. And this gives him a 21-minute Chrysalis Battle oh, Fury phase just, drum. Yeah, this is probably, I'll look this up in the replay after the match, but this is probably going to be another significant form, farming record for G. And he's just had a hell of a series. And when when he plays like this, gets set up by, by Jadam and Yol, and then just makes the big plays behind them, VP is nearly impossible to stop. Yep, and they seem to have a really grasp on this game. King R giving his best free on impression with his three Null Talismans. BZZ can't deny the tower. King R is looking to initiate Wutron. Ancient Seal Mystic Flare. BZZ is caught out about four or five times like this. Although that is only the ages, but it's a free kill again going to Moscow 5. And now PGG is here. Match Missile goes and BZZ getting Ancient Shield yet again. And they're making a tanky Viper look squishy with Ancient Seal. Well, and arm reduction. I mean, BZZ is, has struggled in this match for sure, but it's just the mark of a good team. You shut down one of their cores and the others just go ham to compensate. And here you're going to have another kill in the top lane, more than likely. The PGG gets caught out. Only one hit of the cast. There's the death ward. Not even really necessary. But better <laughs> that Yule gets involved and gets the kill or gets an assist and gets towards the aggro scepter than nothing. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the the damage output from G here is is just going to be too much, I think, for M5 to cope with. Uh, you know, it, it's all well and good that you're going to have these Radiance Naga illusions, but, I mean, they're going to go down in one or two sleight of fists. Yeah, especially when he gets the Daedalus finish, which should be his next item. And then after Daedalus, what do you build? Do you build yet another Battle Fury? Maybe a Scotty, which we've seen so often on Virtus Pro or on Ember Spirits around the world, so... There's a lot of options coming up from British Pro, and, and they have so much farm on this Ember Spirit. And Sedoi even picks up a Maelstrom as well, so he's yeah. starting to get involved, and this is scary.
Yeah, they, they just at this point, uh, despite BZZ's struggles in the match, uh, they just have more than enough between G and Sadoi to deal with those Naga illusions already. I mean, uh, Blow Your Brain desperately needs to get his his bots, his mana, and his heart up here in, in like the next... I don't know, 12 minutes or so to, to win this game, but uh, boy, that is going to be so tough the way VP's playing. Yeah, Moscow 5, and, and it looks like the early fights were kind of just now wearing on Blow Your Brain, who looks like his bots should be done if he wants to buy them now. You usually see Radiant's bots first. I, I don't but. think he can in this match. I, I think she needs I think she needs some stats to survive against the uh, the spam of Sleight of Fist. Yeah. I'll agree with you there. And the bots could come out if they wanted to, but I think it's going to be maybe a heart, maybe even a Manta if they want to. But yeah, I think you got to go Manta or heart. Probably you'll go Manta next, just for as a kind of a compromise between the stats uh, and not giving up too much in the split pushing department, which which is an important part of of M5's path back into this game. They are not out of this quite yet, but they need to be awfully careful. They give up another big fighter, another big couple of pickoffs to G, and they can find themselves out of this game in a hurry. Yeah, luckily they still have all of their tier 2 towers up, so they have some, you know, obviously last defenses here. Vigas is sitting on an Aghanim Scepter, which is actually surprising, but he's had a pretty good game, all things yes. considered. So, I guess yeah, not that big of a shocker. I mean, it was... G certainly has, has been the MVP of this series so far, uh, and has just snowballed out of control in both games, oh, but it, no. it wasn't on the laning phase in this in this match. <laughs> Sedoi, my friend. Uh... That's not good. That, uh, good job yeah. in getting caught out. Now this this fight is bad all of a sudden for Virtus Pro. This is the fight that M5 needed. Sedoi is gonna time walk away. Yola is not gonna be so lucky. Oh. Song actually keeps Yola alive, but uh, they're looking for Sedoi on the backside instead. And Snare yeah. should be ready in one second and is. They don't even need it. The ratings burn and all of a sudden, a double kill for King R and Blow Your Brain gets involved in a couple of big kills. He's got 3.4k gold. That's yeah. what happens when you waste a Chronosphere and you don't have G there to help out or BZZ with the mech. And look at that fight recap. I mean, this is the point. We've we've said before how those bounties were reduced. They're not necessarily game-breaking at this point, but this is the point in the match, right? That was almost 5 XP, 5k XP going the way of M5 and, and about 2k gold as well. You see Blow Your Brain sitting on almost 4k gold now yeah. uh, that's a dramatic turnaround there i mean look at the levels they've they've uh, all but caught you know they caught at least halfway up in one fight you know and that's just that's something you really cannot give away against the naga sire and we talk about right. how this game can go away naga can easily out carry this game even though there is that ember spirit on the other side which is something that you have to deal with i mean it's kind of scary but at the same time uh, blow your brain can easily start doing a ton of damage, split pushing and take down towers like crazy. There's going to be a point, even with Sleight of Fist, where you might not be able to kill some of these Naga illusions. Yeah, that's true. That that that's very true. You know, Naga Siren, uh, they do they are gonna have some AoE spam over on VP, but Naga Siren can get to the point uh, where she can just tank up and it is gonna be that heart that you called for coming out next, and he's only about uh, another twelve, thirteen hundred gold away from it. Yeah. I mean the Reaver Air helps a little bit right now but getting yes. that hard is going to be huge and the illusions just probably won't die i mean unless you're up against g and then you get a mantis style maybe or um the bots first but at some point it's going to be bots mantis style maybe a butterfly if they really want to diffuse a blade just to get some extra damage i mean there's a lot of items not going to go for but those are the standard ones and when you get those items all of a sudden it doesn't really matter what g has the, the game becomes a lot more difficult for them uh, vegas might go down here to a smoke gun oh nice Oh, oh the no. Split almost went off, and that's a gem of true side as well that they're going to pick up, and Yul's going to grab it. And uh, he's he actually. Out of that. Yul is getting closer to his Aghanim Scepter, but he's stopped his progression. He's just sitting at an overcoming point booster, and he's been there for some time. If he can get up that Aghanim Scepter, then I I very am I'm very worried for M5 at that point. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean if he gets a if he gets an Ags up at, at any kind of reasonable time, a a, a good Chrono Ags combo. Forget about it. Yeah. Just forget it. That's oh, just G lassoed. 
He's going to get caught out. Mystic Flare, Ancient Seal. He Perfect won't get brought timing down. on the Ancient Seal. Man, what a high value kill for M5. Yeah. They had to have that. That's that's huge for them. And that gives them a lot more room, especially in the top lane as well. Uh, blow your brain can start pressuring that with some illusions, but instead, looking around, Moonlight Shadow was popped for that engagement. PG gets arrowed. arrowed in the mid lane. BZZ coming through with the Viper Strike. Magic Missile might go, but he's dead. Uh, and Mirana getting the kill. So Jotam now starting to get involved. And uh, Medallion and Arcane Boots looks like it's going to be the utility Mirana. Sometimes we'll see this Mirana transition into the late game, but with an Arcane Boot pickup, I don't think that's the case. Yeah, and you do have a couple. You do have a number of really farm hungry heroes on VP at this point. It's it's tough to make that transition from a four position Marana uh, in this particular match when when you're already trying, for example, to put the Aghanim on Yol. Yeah, and so, I mean, exactly. That they don't really have <laughs> a lot of the farms is going to specifically faces Void, BZZ, and G. I mean, they're right. taking pretty much all of the maps. So the supports are trying to just get whatever they can get. And at this point, Moran is playing the five role. Jotun's playing the five role, right. which is what he does, and he's doing it very well. On the other side of things, King R is, although he's getting caught out, he's having a much better game than he did in the first one. I mean, the first game, he got blown up, but this game, yeah. he's doing he's, real well. He has done some things in, in, in fights, and particularly pickoffs together with the, with TPOH's Batrider. That Mystic Flare has come into play. He's had very good timing on the silences. So, uh, you know, definitely seen some impact from all five of the M5 players in this match, which which is really what you need to win against a top squad like VP. I mean, we have spent so much time talking about the supports for VP because I feel like so much of their game keys off that. But uh, to me, you want to beat a good team like VP, you've got to match their support play. Yeah, and uh, six kills and six assists certainly isn't bad for King R. PGG has one kill and ten assists, so he's getting involved, certainly. He's going to try to take the tower by his lonesome, although Blow Your Brain is going to come in. And this is a tier one that's still alive at 29 minutes, and it should fall. Lasso coming in, Split coming in as well, Jout of getting caught out. And that's a lot used, but BZZ coming in as well, pops the BKB, Mystic Flare coming out, not doing the damage that he wants. He still has mech, BZZ backing away, does pop it finally. Gee, searing chains, PGG's gonna fall, one for one trade. What else can they get out of this? Sedoi, he's got Chronosphere, he can use it in a second, he, he might. He's gonna jump, Blink coming out. V guys try to get out. There's the Chronosphere. They have the nice. ultimate song of the siren. Gonna go and nice canceling song. any of the damage. Beautiful song to blow your brain. Chronosphere gets nothing done as they're trying to bring down V guys. All the meanwhile, Batrider is foot pushing into the top lane, and uh, King R looking for a potential initiation here on somebody or just scouting them out. And the fight yeah. will end, but they head over to Roche Pit. Not yeah. up, but very close. Yeah, very close, and they're going to know probably that Roche is, is about to pop up here. That was an excellent fight by Blow Your Brain. Really nice patience. I thought he might blow his song uh, up on the dire, no pun intended, God, that'd be horrible, <laughs> on the dire steps. Uh, very nice patience to sort of walk back along the outskirts of the fight and use it to save his team from the chrono. King R, uh -oh. Searing Chains. They don't get him! They cast wow. not in time! He is sweating, man. He's like, oh my god. Yeah, he barely missed the Searing Chains and the cask, uh, not on target. So, yeah, a little bit fortunate there from King R, but hey, uh, you, you need a little bit of luck in these matchups. Absolutely. And, uh... Virtus Pro, they don't have to believe they once did, but they're still in a solid position, and they're gonna grab Roshan and it's a back end of that. And, I mean, an Aegis here could be huge. The problem now is that blow your brain with bots with the Heart of Trask. One more item and he starts becoming a problem. However, the big thing is, as good as the Nagasaurus is right now, you actually don't do that much right-click damage until you get maybe a Manta and a Diffuse Blade. Diffuse Blade gets you that damage that you're missing. Um, so no, until that, you get to that point, right. you can probably be pretty effective against this Naga. However, and now with the Aegis, she can't really afford to get caught out, so that's a bit scary. Yeah, the biggest thing now is VP has what they need to really force a fight. And I, I think that they're going to try and force a fight behind the Aegis on G here. M5 need to survive this next team fight or two. And then I think they have a very realistic shot of, of carrying it out in the late game. But uh, the danger time for them is right now as G's already on the offensive here in the Dire Jungle. Yeah, PGG will smartly TP smart. away. G was very close to getting a kill there. They actually had this warded, so they might have saw them walk through. And uh, that means PGG can get out safely. 
So this is Moscow 5 playing a tightrope walk or tightrope back where they're just kind of farming up in the top lane, keeping pressure on some of these towers, but also giving a lot of room down bottom for Blow Your Brain or wherever he might be. But this also means that if they get caught out, they can easily die. They're too far away from home, so... Yeah, not bad though. I mean, Vigos is going to have his shivas here in the next fight. And, you know, you see that gap between G and the Naga Siren is still there, but it's narrowed considerably. And, and Naga will eventually pull ahead here if she's allowed to get her next item up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and this is just, he's also farming all across the map. He TP's top, as you just saw. He, he realized he was getting pressured, but since the blues to the top lane, have them push it out. He can maybe take, you know, Ancients, he can go back to the jungle. And I think right now, if you're Virtus Pro, you want to, I think, put some wards in the jungle and start really dealing with this. But maybe it's a bit too late. Um, as you usually see those wards coming out, trying to block those camps a bit earlier. And although there might be a camp coming out, or yeah, there is a gem from Tron. For, for well, I think it's, so. it's, it's not about the camps at this point. It's about you are very, very strong, especially with the Aghanims just completed up on Yol. This is your time to force a fight and, and to win that fight decisively uh, mm. and m5 is split up a bit here i'm a little bit surprised that they have it's important obviously to keep that support progression going a little bit surprised though that they have pgg and king r up here on, on kind of on, on an island in the top lane leaves the rest of their team pretty vulnerable yeah, support island they're maybe a little bit too far however tron is coming around he can help out if necessary but the rest of Virtus pro are here with the exception of jada who's bottom Oh, uh, that's that's a rhyme. Meanwhile, well, geez, that, that, that might have even be that might have been even worse than blowing the song, my friend. But well, listen, but, it was yeah. unintentional. That, that's, <laughs> guys, we shall no never speak of this again. Yeah, listen, <laughs> right. it does. It didn't happen. Just forget about it. It's fine. Um, Thirty-five minutes in, this game is looking like it might take a bit of time here yeah. to finish up. So. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I think we, we definitely have a game that can go either way. BZZ Lasso, he's going to eat a Mystic Flare again. Goodness gracious. BKB, he gets his Sardo. That's the problem. He will kill King R, and he, he is actually going in. G comes in as well with the Remnant. There's Song of the Siren, and that's a full duration BKB, but it is going to go down. And uh, that's just at the right time for Blow Your Brain to get out of the... Uh, uh, well, he really needs to decide position. what the hell he's doing, though. He's getting... Remnant's coming in from G. He actually oh, has no, no. drone he's charge now. He's going to Forget it. No, yeah. Blow Your Brain in some trouble. Chronosphere going. And even with the heart, my friend, you're not going to be able to take up all this damage. Three dead. Yeah. Big fight going the way Virtus Pro. And that's ex that is exactly what you cannot have happen for M5. And, and this is why I was concerned with them having the supports kind of sitting on an island up there. You could kind of see the rest of their team sort of just trickled in. And that's what happens when it, it's not necessarily the, the heroes that show out of position that get killed, but they, they have the potential to set up these engagements where your whole team can get gone on. Mm -hmm. And that's just not a good spot to be in. I mean, M5 should not be there in that position getting caught out. There's no right. two tower for them to push. They have no real vision of the top area of the map. British Pro just get a kill easily on M5. And they can transition this into a couple of towers, but instead they're looking for the Brewmaster, who is going to use the Shiva's Guard quickly, but... It doesn't seem like he cares. Meanwhile, TP coming out, Tron going to get away, Remnant tearing chains not there. <laughs> Yeah, a little and surprised that VP chased there. I mean, that's that's the point where I think as VP that you can go ahead and uh, and push onto the M5 side of the map. Yeah, get a tier two tower. You have yet to take a tier two tower in this matchup. There's no way you're taking higher ground without getting these tier twos. So uh, that's one way to stop him from being aggressive. Well, oh, Yule Scepter here onto Cedoy. Lasso BKB right beforehand, but uh, Cedoy might be in trouble. And Snare, he will time walk away. Oh, they're going to blink on top of him. There's the Chronosphere. They will try to bring down King R. There's the Aghanim Scepter ultimately coming oh, out. Wow. You do have M5's Vigas get stunned Beautiful up. He is going to fall. Nicely done from Jotam. And now PGG getting chased down by Cedoy. Time lock, time lock. There it goes. Double kill. And they cannot get a song off to save their lives. And uh, uh, just well. yet again, I, I mean, the VP supports the perfect death ward there by Yol. Of course, I mean, it was set up very nicely by Cedo's Chronosphere, but then Jotam with the arrow to seal the Brewmaster's fade. I think that Vigos might have been able to get the split off had that arrow not come in at the very, very end there, and that just locked down the fight for VP. And uh, we said, uh, we said a few minutes ago that this was a, t a point where M5 needed to survive the next couple of engagements. Well,
well. Uh, unfortunately, some bad positioning on the top lane, and then some nice execution here in the Radiant mid, and VP have taken control. Yeah, there's no buybacks on pretty much any of the heroes. In fact, none of the heroes have buyback on their Radiant side. Uh, they have no split. Actually, they do. They didn't get it off in that last fight, so they will have it up in 10 seconds. There is no glyph. And now they, I think they get a set of racks here for free. Oh, yeah, oh. easily. Song is going to come through. Maybe they only get the rank racks. I don't now, know. Remember, Split here. still is up because he never got it off in the last fight. Look at all those BKBs. Here. Big Chronosphere. Tron walks right into it. Blow your brain. Getting brought low. King R gets obliterated. Four dead. Wow, that turned sour quickly. Primal Split gets off. But does that really matter? Buyback just got there from Naga Siren, Perfect and she has it, but again, no song coming out, and they are gonna take this Rex. Siri Chase, blow your brain, you just got back here, don't die again, and he will. Double kill for BZZ, and that might be the beginning of the end. Luckily, there is no tier threes able to be taken as the tier twos are still alive in the other lanes. Yeah, just perfect, perfect timing there by VP. Being very aware that Vigas's Brewmaster was just about to respawn and that they would prob M5 would probably force a little bit of action, try and get some return kills. They just had had Cedoy's Chronosphere come off cooldown and anticipated what M5 were going to try to do and were able to turn it on the turners right there in that engagement. Uh, great fight here, and that will probably be enough for VP to take this home. No split. Everyone dead from 40 seconds to the is and they will call GG and a rare occurrence and having a Naga Siren at 40 minutes of the game not able to bring a game back in 6.82 we're come back to the norm yeah not in this game Virtus Pro take the series 2-0 no split coming out from Moscow 5, a bit of a rough start for them. And, and this is just night and day. Relative to what we've seen in the past for VP, where sometimes they would they would have a rough start and it felt like they would just kind of fold, or sometimes they would have a couple of setbacks in the mid-game and, and